Okay. Uh, hello everyone, I am Crow Dewey of the Cobalt Soul, and I am seeking to compile as many truthful first-hand accounts with the group known as Vox Machina for our historical records. So, uh, uh, if you could just speak into this Arcanosphere orb, uh, thank you very much. Yeah, well, you see, those little shitheads came into the Iron Earth drinking up all the good ale, then snorted a metric fuck ton of sued, robbed the Bronze Grape Manor of their family jewels, then fucked off to Marquette to hunt some sort of legendary phoenix, a beast of beautiful, strange, golden maroon feathers known as the Cavalhout, which you apparently can only train with slot semen. Huh? Then, three months later, my wife and I caught them getting really friendly with our cows. And then they magically turned themselves into cows and then just flew away on wings of moonlight. It was the damnedest thing I'd ever seen. Uh, currently, people say that the Flying Cow Squadron has summoned a great cattle demon called Orphe, the Dairy King, who now terrorizes the countryside. After which the Conclave came, uh, and I wrote a little song about my father and his friends that toppled them. <clears throat> Vox Machina is largely known for killing dragons for, but those whose lives have crossed with them will know my dad's a whore. You'll never miss a greasy chance to jump into your bed. I hear that's how Vox Machina had fucked poor Thordak dead. I was there, so it's all true. <laughs> Music is fine, but this story needs action. Boom! <laughs> Traps and bombs in every side! Boom! Not a cult has escaped unblown apart! As to how I survived... Who knows? Am I ever really here? Ooh. Okay, uh, the Cobalt Soul thanks you all. Uh, we'll, uh, we'll be in touch. <laughs> I wasn't told there'd be prop comedy. I'm just gonna try for this. Oh boy. All right. Good evening and welcome to Tal'Dorei Today. I'm your host, Adam Advil, and welcome to Tal'Dorei Today. Today we're going to be discussing something very close to my heart, very exciting, the group Vox Machina. Vox Machina, who were they? What did they affect? What sort of mark did they leave on the world? Starting first, we have our first interview today, uh, uh, some sort of Scottish dwarf. One moment. <laughs> Here we go. Oh, shit. Oh, yes, I, uh, that's right, I heard of Vox Machina came to my city and, uh, fuck, and saved our whole city from this terrible per uh, scourge underneath the ground. Uh, it was, it was horrible, these, these tentacle things attacking us and taking, oh, God, I got Austrian, taking everything we've got, uh, it was, it was terrible, but they came and they saved us and we gave them lots of ale. It was great. <sighs> Got there. And uh, uh, that, that was my personal memory of Vox Machina right there. Uh, they were wonderful. Thank you, uh, Scottish Dwarf. That was amazing. Fantastic. Uh, what a wonderful story to hear. Now we, next, of our next caller we have, yes, yes, uh, a farmer, farmer number two. Hello, farmer number two. Uh, yes, uh, 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 Vox Machina came uh, to, to our village at one point. We were uh, we were uh, being attacked by a, a, a bunch of uh, 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 strange shadow creatures, and they, I mean, they came in and uh, sure, like uh, you know, like I, I lost my farm and uh, uh, the the fields got completely burnt and. Uh, and that 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 was that was mostly them, uh, really. It was there was it was definitely a problem. But they saved us. They saved us all. It was it was amazing. True heroes. True true heroes of the world. Yes yes. Fabulous, exciting stuff. Wonderful, wonderful, exciting stuff. Next, uh, we have. <laughs> oh no, uh, I, uh, Irish <laughs> accented peasant. Uh, here we go. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> oh yes, I remember them very well. They came, fuck, God, oh, too much Europe. I remember them very well. They came and uh, they were uh, terrible. They mostly just, uh, again, set fire to my business. It was awful uh, at the time. We were, of course, there was no attack whatsoever. They were just very, very drunk. Uh, there was some sort of calamity with the small one and uh, a, 
couple women from the brothel across the way. It was, uh, I don't know exactly what the problem was. This, oh, man. But uh, it, everything eventually uh, worked itself out. One of them apparently had to, to disguise himself to get out of there. I'm not entirely sure what run, but they were uh, basically unwanted posters for over a year. Thank you, Irish accented peasant. Uh, our last, our last interview is with uh, uh, Victor. Victor, is that right? Oh yes, they were uh, amazing. They came in. I got lots of business from them. <laughs> yes, they brought lots of black powder, and they're very, very careful with the black powder. Not like me. <laughs> they learned their lesson. <laughs> yes. Uh, uh, very, very good for business. Yes. <laughs> Thank you, and that concludes. Taldori today. Uh, remember, uh, take care, take care of yourself, because one day we will all be dead. That, I think, was the moral of this story. Uh, not sure. Good night and good luck. Well, I don't have to say good luck, because this is the end. Uh, this bit, much like all of us, is finally dead. <laughs> wow, that was amazing. Thank you all.